So overall NASDAQ market drops second day in a row. Let's go ahead and break this down. It says market news January, 20, uh, January 2nd, 2024. NASDAQ sinks as Apple loses 100 billion in market cap. Bitcoin jumps over $4,500 um, when it comes down to its price for coin. Uh, and this is the secondary sell-off that we've been seeing with the NASDAQ market. If we look at QQQ, lower lows, lower highs, actually got quite surprised. So uh, once we flew in here to Costa Rica, um, NASDAQ market was already in the red during this pre-market session. So I began to ask myself, right? I've, I've made this mistake many times before where the markets might be red pre-market, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to continue to sell off for the remainder of the day. There's many times that we've seen markets fully recover even if they start off in the red. And that was my big question that I was asking myself. Remember, one of my rules for 2024 is I wanted to give the market the time that it needs to paint its picture for the day, and I didn't just want to make an impulsive decision. Man, was I surprised. Not only did it continue to sell off, but it aggressively made lower lows and lower highs, being in favor of SQQQ, which closed up 5.39% in the green today. And the big one that I took advantage of is coin. So coin not only ended up selling off, so during the pre-market session, just so you guys could see, during the pre-market session, this thing gapped all the way back up to highs of 185. For those that aren't aware, that's a huge gap up from the previous close of last Friday that was right around 172. So not only did we jump up $13 per share, but we began to give it back during this pre-market session. So by the time that I actually started short selling coin, it was already back in the red, right? Because it closed right around that 170 range. So once it began to sell off during normal trading hours, that's when I announced it to my LP team. And just so you guys could see this right on over here, I keep them up to date with the trade ideas section. So just for them to be aware of what I'm paying attention to, of where I plan to buy and where I plan to sell. I began to short sell coin, which means that I'm betting against the company. I make money as it sells off. And this thing, just continued and continued to make new lows. I actually stopped shorting coin as it was trading right around 161 to 163. There was lack of progress here. Um, when it came down to coin, I was up 41K on the day. It was a very significant day. That's not an average day for me. So I just closed it off. Not only did it break below 161, but I ended up making new lows to 154.80. One of the rules that I made for myself for 2024 is again, trying to make sure that when I'm ahead on the day, and again, I'm three to four hours into the market open, that I remind myself that I am not normally the most efficient or effective within the later hours of the day. So realizing that about myself, I just went ahead and I took initiative, I, I accepted how much it was that I was up, and I didn't force any further trades. Now, obviously, based off of the way that coin ended up paying off uh, or playing out, uh, I could have made more money. But technically, that's not always the case, right? And it's on when it's not the case that I want to make sure that I hold myself back like I did today, where I don't continue to overtrade when direction didn't have to be super favorable. Today was just a very giving day. Uh, overall market could have been a little bit more uh, overreactive based off of how we were seeing the NASDAQ market perform. If you look at overall Apple stock, again, a very significant pullback taking it back below the $3 trillion market cap, bringing it down to 2.89. If you look at, again, overall big tech companies, they're down, lower lows and lower highs. If you look at QQQ, we're still above the four hour moving average, so we still have some room to sell off. It's just something that we haven't seen from recent patterns on the overall market, which just means that we have to monitor it closely to see, right? One of the things that we, we brought up at the end of the year for 2023 is 2023 was a very given year because of a, a very poor performing 2022. The question for 2024 is, are we going to still continue to be as giving in 2020 from, from 2023 to 2024, or are we gonna to begin to potentially change direction? And this is why we talked about it because direction can ultimately end up changing, which means that your edge ends up having to change. And it's during these quick changes of direction that we have to be very, very careful. So again, I'll make sure that I keep you guys up to date. I hope to see you for tomorrow's live trading session. If you want to tune on in, that's going to be that second link in the description down below. 
Thank you again for your guys' time. Hope that earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.